I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is July 12, 2018, and in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to set up Tmux so you can share your, share your session using sockets. Okay, I don't know about you, but in this world, it's, it's really a good idea to pair up with people and work together and get some, get some jobs done because you actually solve a lot of problems quicker that way. And so one nice tool in that arsenal to help you is you can use Screen or you can use Tmux to share a Linux session. And so recently this came up and we thought about a, trying to figure out the simplest way to do it to make things work. And so this is what we came up with um, to use sockets. Uh, so in this case, I have two two users, Patman and Bob, who are lo who are logged into the same same server, and they both happen to share a same group. So if I look at groups on both of them, they both share a group called TM Shared. In this case, this will make life a lot easier to do this. So what you want to do is up here. Let me say say I want to make a Tmux session. So I'll make it a certain way. I'll say Tmux S capital S which is for socket, and I'll make a socket file, and I'll put it in temp, and I'll call it patrick underscore tmux, in this case. Uh, I'm going to do, and say new dash ash shared. So it's going to be a, it's going to be new, and it's also going to be named shared. So there we go. So now I'm in a tmux session. Let me clear this up. Oh, I got my little weird issue with my, ah, I got to fix it on this server. But that's just me with my, ah, eh, I'll fix it. But anyway, uh, Tmux session is working. So now what I want to do is I can actually, from here, if I look at Tmux and I look at uh, Patrick Tmux, I look at the socket, I'll see it's the socket, and I'll see it's owned by me, uh, my name and my group. So I want to change the group to one that's shared by both of us. So I'll say change group, um, I'll just do ch change owner. Batman and TM shared on temp Patrick Tmux. Look at it again. There we go. So now this person should be able to see it. And so now this person can easily log in using that. So they got two choices. One, they can log in interactively or they can actually log in and read only. So if they want to log in, they say Tmux dash S for the socket and they hit that socket and attach dash T share. And they're in. So now up here I can type, and the person down here can see it, and they can type. And so now we have an interactive shell, and we can kind of see what's going on. Um, but I also got to see the size here. So I am, I have something coming from a smaller client. So you get these dots to see who is bigger. Let's see, I can make you bigger. And now you're, oh, there we go. Now the same size. But if you have dots, that just kind of, you know, there we go. So now we can, the reason it does that, if I, do, if I make this full size, those dots are what the other person can't see. I think it's trying to accommodate to the smallest setting here. There we go. But now this, now we can share a session. So I can say ls-alh, uh, and down here, this other person can type. So this is a perfect way uh, on the command line to be interactive and to work together we use it to teach classes now and some of the work I do and also just to work. I mean, it's really useful to pair up and do things. So I love Tmux for that reason. You can do it in screen, uh, but this is a simple way, simplest way we found. I prefer Tmux and sockets, and this is just the simplest way to do it. Uh, also, I come down here and do control A, detach. So now I'm detached, still going on. Um, also, since this group could be shared by multiple people, we could have multiple people log in. Uh, also, uh, rather than do attach, we can do attach dash tr, and dash r is read only. Uh, I thought tmux attach. I thought it was r. Oh, so I need shared at the end. Or let me do it like that. There we go. Let me detach again. So dash r dash t shared. So now I should, I can't type, but I can view. So depending on what you're doing, it might be, you're not gonna stop this person from attaching different ways. They can attach read only or not. So this does not prevent that, but it's, you're using this for pairing anyway. So somebody might say, okay, I'm gonna attach on and just be read only so I don't mess things up. That's a nice feature. 
Okay, so control A detach. Now I'll, I'll attach so I can. Okay. Um, damn. Really useful tool. Just want to show it real quickly. I use it a lot. Go out there and pair up and actually do some good work with this. So, anyway, hope someone out there liked this video. Hope it was useful to you. Um, if it was, you know, give it a thumbs up. If not, hey, give it a thumbs down. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.